Good morning. Hi, I'm Missy Pudamont from CSG and welcome to our March edition of CSG University's edition of Spotlight On. Today our featured speaker is Dr. Charles Gatto from Tri-County Orthopedics who just gave a wonderful presentation on symptom magnification and malingering in the workers' comp spine patient. Good morning, Dr. Gatto, and thank you for joining us today. Thanks for having me. Uh, can you please just explain a little bit for our viewers uh, what symptom magnification is and well, the difference between that and malingering? Symptom magnification we often uh, see during an exam and during an evaluation. The patient will come in and it's those exaggeration things that we, that we see. Uh, but the point about symptom magnification is that it's not necessarily a conscious thing. It can be a subconscious thing uh, based upon many different factors including sociological things and, and, uh, and cultural differences and possibly could be uh, uh, secondary to, again, secondary gain issues. But you can't just look at a symptom magnification patient and feel that immediately that's it. Uh, it's obviously a conscious effort. Um, conscious effort turns symptom magnification and exaggeration uh, and cultural and societal differences over into malingering. Malingering is the true conscious, knowledgeable attempt to circumvent the system and make up symptoms or make up injuries. And, and how prevalent is that in uh, workers' compensation? Do you see many of these cases in, in your practice? I think, yeah, I think that we all see uh, a significant amount of, of symptom magnification. Uh, you see it very much in the personal injury uh, area and, and workers' compensation injury because there's a tremendous known secondary gain. The patients know it themselves that there's a secondary gain issue, and you see a lot more in the way of symptom magnification. Again, whether it's conscious or subconscious. Um, I think it's very important to look for it. If you don't look for it, and uh, we gave a lecture today on the different ways to look for it, uh, but if you're not looking for it, you're gonna end up missing it or you're gonna come to the end uh, of the whole treatment process and not have what you need to document and document to know what's going on. So you need to be looking for symptom magnification. You need to be looking for the signs of malingering or conversion disorders or somatization disorders or associate disorders, you need to be looking for those. And documentation, as you said, is extremely <coughs> important with every visit. Exactly. Yeah. Documentation is how you figure this stuff out. There's no one test. It's a preponderance over time of the evidence, and it starts to become clear down the road. And once you identify these issues, how do you work with the patient to kind of intervene, uh, work with the, the caseworkers and the adjusters to try to get this patient back on track and back to their best possible health outcome and and back to work ultimately. Yeah, I think uh, that's a great point. You have to first look at it and uh, there's sort of two patients. There's the truly malingering patient and once you figure that out, really what you have to do for that patient is get them out of the system. You have to document appropriately. Maybe you need a second or third opinion. Maybe you need an FCE to be added. Maybe you need to put all the stuff together and truly get that truly malingering patient out. But most of the patients are doing some exaggeration consciously or subconsciously, uh, and you need to just explain to them what's going on, invest them in the process. It doesn't make sense, see how you did this, but you weren't able to do that. You need to just talk to them about it, and you need to document and call them on it the next time. And they come back and I feel terrible, nothing's gotten better, but if you've documented, well, last time you had this and that and the other concern and complaint very focused, but today you only have one of those three. Uh, and, and you can get somewhere. So by documenting, by talking to them about it and sort of gently challenging them on it, uh, you can usually steer pe uh, people into, into doing the right thing and, and, and understanding themselves. Because a lot of times you're really subconscious. What you mentioned FCEs, are there other types of testing that you, that you perform that, that kind of uh, Well, there's a or? lot of testing uh, during uh, during the examination that's important. I mean, um, if you're not savvy with personal injury and workers' compensation and stuff, then it doesn't really matter. I mean, if you have a meniscal injury uh, and you're having knee pain, you need a metastectomy. Uh, who cares how it happened? Who cares when it happened? It doesn't really matter. Uh, but in this, uh, in this area, you need, you need to be looking for that. You need to uh, really do a great 
history, you establish a baseline, and then there's a lot of red flags in that history and follow-up evaluations that you may be looking for. And then there's red flags in the testing and the, and the physical examination uh, uh, that uh, their problems have to make sense and it has to match things anatomically. And there's a lot of little tests that you can do, uh, covert type of tests that the patient won't realize and you can get some good information. So that's the best way. Obviously very important to get our patients to the right types of doctors who treat workers' comp yes. patient patients Absolutely. and who are looking for these signs and symptoms. Absolutely. Was well, there anything else uh, that you would like our audience to know about symptom magnification and malingering? Uh, no, just like uh, you, you, you just summed it up really well. You need to be with someone who's who's savvy uh, with it, and who's looking for it, and it's going to take the time to look for it, uh, and communicates, uh, you know, back to you well. So very good. Well, it's been a pleasure to have you again today. Thank I think you. we all learned Thank a you. lot about the subject matter, and here we are uh, with our March edition signing off. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.